ready for a scary movie night on Netflix. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best horror movies on Netflix. Because if there is no head. And there is no hell. At number 12, we have the movie 1922. In rural Nebraska, Farmer Wolf plotted to murder his wife Arlette for financial gain, enlisting his son Henry's reluctant assistance. As the weight of their gruesome act takes hold, the psychological toll becomes evident, leading to dire consequences. Thomas Jane's committed performance as the tormented Wolf anchors this slow-burning horror, effectively portraying the characters unraveling. The house? She only took the one suitcase. Woman have to be crazy to leave a nice house like this one. Director Zach Hilditch skillfully translates Stephen King's short story into a solid period horror, capturing the psychological turmoil and horror that ensue from the fateful decision. The Babysitter. At number 11, we have the movie The Babysitter. Initially, it might come across as a cheesy horror flick, making use of its recognizable cast. However, that's precisely its strength. The movie wholeheartedly embraces the horror genre's familiar tropes, with characters embodying well-known roles like the unkillable jock, the token black character, the hypersexualized girl, and the sacrificial virgin. While it may appear as a parody of horror films, it manages to retain its originality and intrigue. Question. Offering a unique and engaging experience. As a young boy stumbles upon his babysitter's sinister cult activities, the film seamlessly blends humor and horror, creating an enjoyable and memorable viewing. The Ritual. What the fuck is that? At number 10, we have the movie The Ritual, directed by David Breckner, known for his work on horror films like the new Hellraiser. The movie is a tightly woven creature feature. The story revolves around four friends who reunite for a hiking trip in the Swedish wilderness following the loss of a friend. However, their journey takes a horrifying turn as they encounter strange symbols, abandoned cabins, and brutalized animals. Suspicion arises as they realize a sinister creature is stalking them, and their struggle for survival becomes a chilling battle against this mysterious and terrifying entity. I woke up last night and look at this. The film's notable highlight is the striking creature design by frequent collaborator Keith Thompson, hailed by horror icon Guillermo del Toro as amazing and scary, making it one of the most memorable movie monsters in recent times. Gerald's Game You just have to remember. Back off! <laughs> At number 9, we have the movie Gerald's Game, a gripping adaptation of the Stephen King novel. A seemingly innocent weekend retreat takes a harrowing turn when a couple's attempt at spicing up their relationship leads to a deadly accident. With her husband's sudden demise leaving her handcuffed to the bed in a remote cabin, the wife faces a nightmare of unimaginable proportions. As she battles physical and psychological torment, her struggles intensify, accentuated by the realization that danger lurks nearby due to the cabin's open door. I... I need help. <laughs> the film masterfully blends terror and tension, delving into the woman's desperate fight for survival while grappling with past traumas, culminating in spine-chilling moments that include body horror. Apostle <laughs> At number 8, we have the movie Apostle. Directed by Gareth Evans, known for The Raid, this historical horror centers around Thomas, a former missionary who has lost his faith. He embarks on a journey to a secluded island inhabited by a cult that is holding his sister captive. As he seeks to free her, the story takes unexpected turns, defying genre conventions while delivering intense gore. With compelling performances from Dan Stevens as Thomas and Michael Sheen as a cult leader, Apostle stands out as a potent entry in the folk horror subgenre.
Your eyes. Drawing comparisons to iconic films like The Wicker Man and Midsommar, the film's intricate plot and strong character portrayals contribute to its appeal for horror enthusiasts seeking a unique and unsettling experience. The Perfection At number 7, we have the movie The Perfection. If you are seeking a horror movie that delivers a disturbing and engaging experience, The Perfection is your pick. With its intense plot and stomach-turning gore, the film keeps you captivated throughout. Starring Alison Brie and Logan Browning, this gripping thriller delves into the repercussions of abuse and manipulation, centered around two violinists who were mistreated by their mentor. As the twisted tale unfolds, unexpected twists keep you on the edge of your seat, including a shocking scene where one character loses a hand. What's happening? What's happening? Oh my god. What's happening? I don't know! The movie's exploration of power dynamics and abuse adds depth to the unsettling atmosphere, making the perfection a haunting and gripping watch. This house. Everything we went through to get here. At number six, we have the movie His House. This slow burn psychological thriller skillfully avoids relying on gore, opting for a gradual buildup of intense scenes that deliver unexpected jolts. The storyline centers around a couple who flee South Sudan for Britain, seeking refuge from their war-torn homeland. Upon moving to their new residence, they confront both social oppression from their neighbors and a haunting presence within their home. We are not going back. There's no witch. Get what is that? As the narrative unfolds, it becomes apparent that a night witch lurks in their midst, conjuring a malevolent entity that resides within the walls. The couple finds themselves ensnared in a web of distorted memories and perilous situations. Cargo. We're here. So when things get back to normal, that's not gonna happen. At number five, we have the movie Cargo. Martin Freeman stars in this post-apocalyptic horror, portraying Andy, a man struggling to survive in a world devastated by a rabies-like virus that has turned most of humanity into near zombies. Alongside his wife Kay, Andy strives to protect their infant daughter Rosie in the unforgiving Australian outback. When Kay falls victim to the virus, their plight takes a sinister turn as they encounter Vic. You're anything! You're just a stupid gubber! That wasn't your dad anymore. I would like it if you came with us. A ruthless individual who uses people as bait to lure zombies for his own purposes. Cargo stands out as a creative take on the zombie genre, offering more depth by focusing on characters and their struggles rather than relying solely on kills and scares. In the tall grass, At number four, we have the movie In the Tall Grass. Regarded as a standout of its kind, this film from writer-director Vincenzo Natale adapts a short story by Stephen King and Joe Hill. The story revolves around a pair of siblings who respond to the desperate cries of a boy trapped in a vast field of tall grass by the roadside. Their attempt to rescue him leads them into a nightmarish tangle of supernatural events, where the grass distorts time and space. How did you get here before us? I don't know. My boy, he's lost in here too. This is nuts! It's only a feel. Despite some moments of overriding, the film showcases a compelling concept enriched by Patrick Wilson's captivating performance and the visual prowess that Natalie, known for his work on Hannibal, brings to the table. Bird Box. But under no circumstance are you allowed to take off your blindfold. At number three, we have the movie Bird Box. This post-apocalyptic tale stands as one of Netflix's most watched films. The story follows a woman, portrayed by Bullock, who undertakes a perilous journey to guide two children to safety in a world devastated by enigmatic entities that drive those who see them to commit suicide. This airy premise led to the nickname a blind place in comparison to a quiet place, while not reaching the same heights as the latter. Do you hear that? The creatures. 
Bird Box remains an engaging, large-scale sci-fi offering with standout performances, particularly from Sarah Paulson and John Malkovich in supporting roles. Caliber. So sorry. That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be nearly enough. At number two, we have the movie Caliber. This suspenseful thriller resonates with the universal feeling of dread that comes with watching characters make ill-advised decisions in horror movies. In the film, the characters find themselves in a dire predicament after a hunting trip takes a tragic turn. As the story unfolds, they make a series of questionable choices, including shooting a young boy and his father. Rather than seeking help, they opt to bury the bodies in an attempt to evade the consequences. The tension escalates as the characters grapple with their actions, leading to a compelling exploration of moral dilemmas and the repercussions of their choices. Everything I did here. Caliber captures the feeling of being caught in a real-life situation where the characters must navigate the blurred lines between right and wrong while facing the harsh reality of their decisions. Hush. And number one, we have the movie Hush. This slasher flick stars Kate Siegel as Maddie, a deaf and mute writer living alone in a secluded area. Her solitary existence is shattered when a masked killer arrives, taking the life of her friend before targeting Maddie. Left to fight for her life in silence, Maddie's battle against the assailant forms the heart of the story. Directed by Mike Flanagan, known for his strong presence in the horror genre, Hush stands as one of his most impactful projects. Flanagan combines an appreciation for classic slashers with a willingness to innovate, resulting in a film that both honors the genre's roots and pushes its boundaries. Hush earned critical acclaim and garnered recognition from notable figures in the horror community, including Stephen King, who likened it to Halloween, and William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist, who described it as terrifying.